Hi, Paul Turley. I'm a principal consultant with Pragmatic Works, and I'm going to show you how to install, connect, and get started using the COVID-19 Global Daily Updates Power BI app that we have published to AppSource. This is the home page in my Power BI tenant. I want to go to Apps and Get Apps. Now, you may have some apps installed already, so you would other, see other apps, but we're just going to get a new app. And I'm going to go to the uh, App Source, and I'm going to search for this app. And you can see that that comes up when I just start typing the first few letters, and I can choose Get It Now. And I want to install this app, and then that's going to show up uh, in an app that's installing now. And now I can go to that new workspace for my app. Now, you're prompted to connect your data. Now, everyone's going to use the same data, and that's the uh, CDC data about COVID outbreaks uh, curated by the Johns Hopkins University. But you still need to provide that connectivity. So we're going to click connect to your data, you'll see that there are actually two web sources and we just need to verify that we're going to allow anonymous access and set the privacy level to public. You'll be prompted twice just because we maintain two different connections uh, to this set of files. Again, anonymous and public and then click sign in. Now that's all you need to do to get connected and at this point you should be able to go to your data sets. You'll see that I am connecting now and getting new data. That will take uh, a few seconds, and then we should see that the data uh, has been refreshed. It will show the date and time. All right, the data set has been refreshed. You see the last refresh time. Now I can set up a schedule to refresh this data every day. So just flip this switch, keep your data up to date. Now, uh, if you don't explicitly add times like I've already done here, you'll see that uh, uh, Power BI service will actually just uh, arbitrarily select a time and refresh the data at its earliest convenience. You can add uh, a number of times throughout the day to check for new data. And keep in mind, we don't have any control over when this data gets uh, updated. So by the end of the day, you should see uh, data uh, that's uh, current as of that time. And then just click apply. And that's really all you need to do to get connected. Now, one more thing that uh, I do want to do is I wanna set my local country and state or province. You may notice that in this my region tile that the country and the state have already been set to a default that is uh, different than your region. That's easy to resolve. The easiest thing to do because this is a live page is just to use these slicers. You can either resize the tile uh, or if you're comfortable with just using the uh, small slicers in place, that's fairly easy to do. That's what I'm going to do here. I'm going to clear the current selections. And let's say that uh, if uh, rather than the United States, uh, I were in uh, British Columbia, Canada, I can clear both of these and then I'll go ahead and set Canada as my country. and then choose British Columbia as the province. We hope this is a useful solution for you.